Hi friend, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And in this video, I wanna talk about some of my favorite new features in X-Lights for 2021 for this season. So every year with X-Lights, um, being that it's a community built project, um, it's made by developers who literally donate their time. Um, and so do donate to them if you find value in what they do. Uh, but you know, you never know what's coming next because ultimately, it's kind of up to the developers and what they feel like doing. And so the cool thing about it is we always see new features and enhancements that we never saw coming. Um, and it can always be a little bit of a surprise as to what's coming into X lights. And so this month I want to go over a couple of the biggest new features in 2021, uh, that I have seen now, um, X lights typically just as a whole, um, has most of the big new features come out you know, in the front half of the year, in the January through, you know, September uh, section of the year. And then after that, it's less new features. It's more, okay, we found bugs, we're fixing them, right? Because you don't want to send in a bunch of new features on top of everybody trying to do their Christmas light shows. Um, so, plus the developers all have shows of their own, of course, it would kind of be um, weird if they didn't. So, um, but, you know, more power to them, more power to them if they, they want to work that way. So, number one, is the importing. So importing sequences has really improved in this past year in a couple of ways. And I want to show you here. So I've loaded up my layout here of my house. And typically, if I were to import a sequence in the past, um, there's a couple things I would have to do. I would have to go ahead and open up the old sequence, watch it, save it so it renders, um, check it, check all the video files, make sure everything plays smoothly. And then, um, and, and that's after I've unzipped the zip file that I downloaded, and then I would be able to go ahead and import it. Um, but today it's even easier. So I just go ahead and I create a new sequence. Um, I literally just go in here, create a musical sequence. Um, I think I can skip the audio file and I hit, we'll double check that setting. <laughs> we'll hit our uh, 20 frames per second, quick start. Yeah, okay. And then I go to import, import effects. And now I go and I find my downloaded sequence. So I've got this in my Dropbox. And I'm gonna choose one of these ones uh, that I got. We'll just do the Christmas every day from X Lights Around the World last year. Uh, great song. And we're actually just choosing the zip file here. So it used to be that you unzipped the folder um, and you copied those files into your X Lights folder um, and then you went ahead and any video or shaders you had to locate, um, after the fact, they would turn red in the sequence of you had to locate them. Now we keep the file zipped from the download. We just hit open. Okay. Then we have the ability to set this up. So this works the same way it did previously. Okay. Uh, if this is a provider that you've used from before, um, so we could see here, if I hit view change options, it's going to show us where it brings in all of the different media. It's just going to bring those media into your computer, into your X lights folder. So if you copy your X lights folder to another computer, you back it up. It's all going to be right there. Okay. Um, then this works just as normal. You drag over the, um, the matches here, you know, you go ahead and you've got uh, singing faces. I'm singing bulbs. Do I have my singing bulbs in this one yet? No, I don't. Um, you don't have to download all the things here. Oh, I'm just going to download a couple things. Sure. And then um, typically, if you had used the sequence provider before, you would go ahead and load a previous mapping um, that you want to do. Or if you find a mapping that, you, that matches up real nice, you can save your mapping. Boom. Um, I'm not going to do either right now. And then all we do is we press OK. And once we press OK, then we have our sequence here. So everything just imported. And what I want to show you here is where you have like an image here. OK. Or if you have a shader, I believe this is a shader. Nope, that's a shape. Um, or if you have video, I know there's some video in here somewhere. Hopefully I got that. Uh, all of those things scroll up all of those types of files, the faces, everything imports. 
And there's no red media. You used to get red media where um, it wouldn't show up. And if I play it, let me just mute my audio quick. If I play it, everything plays through. And then the only thing I have to do that I didn't do here, I didn't actually have to mute this. The only thing I have to do is import that audio file separately, which you always have to do because you need to buy the audio separately. Um, and you're good to go. And so this is really cool um, that the x -Lights team has gone ahead and updated this for this year. Just if you're buying sequences, which I know a lot of people are, I am, uh, it's going to make it simpler and easier to import. On that note as well, um, if you are interested in learning Christmas Lighting Academy, later this month we are going to open, but it's not going to be a public open. It's just going to be to the list of people um, who signed up for our waitlist. So be sure to check that out. Again, it's going to be late August, early September when we do that. Uh, LearningChristmasLighting.com slash wait is the place to sign up for that waitlist so you can get started this year. And thinking of sequences, if you do join Learn Christmas Lighting Academy, you also have the ability to get $75 off your first year of the PPD Sequence Club. Absolutely free just as a member. So sign up for that waitlist below, and we'll be back for our next video soon. Thanks.